Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. In the last episode we went south uh, from Celadon, through the bike cycling path, whatever it's called, and we got to Fuchsia City because we were asked the question by my good self, who the hell is running the Fuchsia Gym now? Because Koga is now in the Elite Four, he has got the promotion of a lifetime, so who's looking after his gym? Hmm. I wonder, you'll find out today, well, tonight, um, now, yes, you'll find out soon, trust me. Uh, well, I, I already know, but I am obliged to stay surprised, so, just, cause it, just because if any of you people are new to Pokemon Silver, which I very much doubt, um, we can stay in the surprise together. But first of all, I need to heal up, so uh, let's go heal up, shall we? Now, for all you people who are not going to be surprised, you should know that uh, the Safari Zone was also in the Pokemon Red Blue series. It was in Fuchsia City. So, yeah, let's go check that out as well. Never liked the Safari Zone, to be perfectly honest. I uh, found the catching a little uh, uh, pointless and difficult. I also want to check in here because this is where a fisher guy lived. My grandpa is the Safari Zone Warden. At least he was. He decided to go on vacation and took off overseas all by himself. Oh dear. Okay, well, uh, let's uh, go wreck havoc in, havoc in the Safari Zone then. Should be north of here, surely. Uh, um, okay, that's weird. Oh, did he quit? Is it gone? Fuchsia City, behold, it's passion pink. Yes. Exactly. My fault. Right, let's cut through here. Let's make a shortcut for ourselves. Good boy, Typhlosion. Um, oh yeah, it's up there. That's kind of weird. It kind of looks like there's nowhere to go when, when you see that building. Strange game. Oh, okay. Is it closed? The warden is travelling abroad, therefore we remove the door. Crazy. Okay, well you can't get in the safari zone, unfortunately, guys, but... Um, there is a little thing up here. What the hell's up here? I wonder. It's a burnt berry. That's probably just like a burn heal. Uh, don't need to worry about it. But anyway, why don't we go take on the gym leader? It's about freaking time. Now, as I keep saying, the gym leader, totally different. It still has the invisible walls though, so yeah, let's uh, do some invisible... Did I actually go to the Pokemon Center? Uh, looks like I did. Let's use Kadabra, cause poison types are weak to psychic. How did you miss me? Oh, okay. I'm Janine. How did you know I was real? Let's battle. Janine? Who the hell is Janine? Wait, your name's not Janine. It's Cindy. What? What a confusing place. But anyway, you have a Nido Queen, who is a part poison type Pokemon. And why is it a part poison type Pokemon? Well, because Fuchsia City's gym leader likes the Pokemon to be poison types. So lots of psychic, lots of ground. They're the only two weaknesses of poison type Pokemon, which I find a little strange. Uh, poison types aren't very good offensively. I think they only get the super effective hit on grass types, but we aren't carrying grass types, so uh, we should be okay. You betcha, dude. I'm Janine. No, I'm Janine. No, I'm Janine. No, I'm Spartacus. Now, why are they all calling themselves Janine when he is quite clearly a man called Barry? Well, a boy called Barry. A boy called Barry who claims himself to be called Janine? What the, what the hell is wrong with that? What is this strange gym? Well, I'll, I'll, t I'll show you in a bit, guys. I'll show you in a bit. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know you're all... Totally and utterly confuddled by it all, but it's okay. It's okay. Just calm yourself. Breathe. Camper Barry doesn't actually think he's called uh, Janine. He he was he said he was in disguise. Okay. Now, I could face her, but I'm not going to. Say hello to Janine, the gym leader. Yep. No, I'm not. Gotcha. Oh wait. No, it's not the gym. Wow. She actually got me. Damn it. But yes, I've ruined the surprise. The gym leader's name is Janine, and I want to say she's either the daughter or sister of Koga. I'm gonna go with daughter. I'm presuming it will tell me. But yeah, she is also a bit of a ninja, just like Koga. Gotta love those ninjas. 
There goes Gloom. And Kadabra should get the level up. No, 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 no. Denied. Ooh, an Arbok, a pure poison type Pokemon. Arbok looks so cool. But now it's so dead. Goodbye, Arbok. Fun fact Arbok, if you flip it around, it says Cobra. Crazy. <laughs> but anyway, um, enough of those fun facts. Level 55, and Kadabra is starting to become a bit of a powerhouse. Da -na -na -na. Goodbye, Gloom. Poor Gloom. I like Gloom. Gloom is a drunk Pokemon wearing a very friendly hat. <laughs> anyway, there goes Gloom. And now we can continue the search for Janine. Wherever she may be. Because she is called Alice, not Janine. You did have me fooled. Kudos to you, my, my dear. Right, I'm going to say that you're Janine. Fooled you! Ha ha ha! No, damn it, she is not Janine. My god. Where the hell is she? Maybe she's not even in the gym. <laughs> this is Linda. Linda is not Janine. But she does have a Bulbasaur, so she is instantly amazingly cool, and I love her, because Bulbasaur is my favourite... Well, I'd say my second favourite Pokemon. I can't tell you my third favourite, because... It currently doesn't exist in the second generation. And I can't talk about the third from fourth generation because it doesn't exist. So I, ha I can't tell you my favourite Pokemon ever so because it doesn't exist. So I, I apologise, guys. I uh, apologise. But if I ever do the third or fourth generation games, I'll tell you. I'm probably going to be doing the third and fourth generation games. Ever since I started this LP, I've kind of... Uh, succumb to the fact that I will be doing all of the Pokemons. Ugh, that's going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? But more on that story later. Let's take out Ivysaur. Ivysaur is also a very cool Pokemon, but not as good as Bulbasaur. And that should be the end of last Linda, who is not Janine. Now, that must make you Janine. Fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Huzzah, it's Janine. Janine, Aficia Gym. That's me. So here it is. The uh, 14th badge is on the line here. She's a flying squirrel ninja. Don't mess with Janine. Anyway, she will open with Crobat. Crobat is very quick. And, <laughs> and it's a poison type, but it's also a flying type. So feel free to use Thunder and Ice Punch if you're using Kadabra. If not, just go for poison, not poison, psychic, rock, ice, electric. Is that it? Is that it? That should be it. Yeah, that should be it. What do we have next? Crobat is down. Next is Ariados. And Ariados. Uh, Ariados. That's what you get for trying to say it fancy. Ariados is a poison and bug type, so burn it, psychic it, you know, the works. Da, 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 da. And Ariados is gone. Yes, Ariados is a poor Pokemon. It, it it's it's just not it's just horrible. But anyway, Weezing, get some more Weezing. Oh, I can't believe I said that. Oh gosh, I I swore I was not going to say that, but I did. Oh well. <laughs> uh, anyway, Weezing is down. See, I I just know because I faced so many coughings and Weezing that. You know, they just, they just fall. Anyway, Venomoth. Poison and uh, bug type. Yes. But it, it can learn psychic moves. For some reason, it learns Psybeam. Or it gets Psybeam somehow. I don't know why. Oh well. Venomoth is down. Nothing can stand in the way of my Cadabrinator. Oh yeah. Who needs guns when you've got spoons? Oh, we, we have more Weezing. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I said it now. And we'll use our last Psychic on the last Weezing. And that, my friends, is the end of that. That's game, game, set and match. And that's the victory for me. Once again, that's another badge. Nice one, Kadabra. My god, you're magnificent. <laughs> anyway, Leader Janine was defeated. You're a tough one. You, def you definitely won. I certainly did. Here, take the soul badge. Right, time to get down with the soul badge. Why, thank you, Janine. You're so tough, I have a special gift for you. 
It's a Ferrari! No, it's not. It's Toxic. Toxic is actually one of the better TMs to get because if you have a Pokemon such as Skamori and you're facing a Pokemon such as, I don't know, Lapras. No, not Lapras, bad example. Snorlax. Snorlax can't hurt Skamori. Skamori can't really hurt Snorlax, but if you use Toxic, you can just let Toxic kill the Snorlax. It's deadly, but awesome. Anyway, what do we want to do next? Um, let me have a think. I want to go to Mount Moon. Mount Moon, yes. Do you all remember Mount Moon? Mount Moon was one of the... Well, it was actually the first cave that we went to in the entire game. And it was in Pewter... Well, just, just uh, uh, east of Pewter City. And uh, Mount Moon led us to Cerulean City, which is where Misty's gym was. So it was kind of important. There was also a Pokemon Center there where a man tried to sell you a Magikarp for 500 thingamabobbers. And, you know, it, it's questionable whether that's a good deal or not. I personally think it is because Gyarados is not that bad a Pokemon. It may use its poorest uh, special attack statistic because it's a water type, but it does. It, it's, it's not a bad special attack statistic. Plus, it's quick and it gets thunder, and it can use its normal attack statistic using moves such as Hyper Beam and Body Slam. So it's not a bad mixed attacker, not at all. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I do kind of agree that it's not the best Pokemon in the world. Lapras, I, I much prefer Lapras even though Gyarados and Lapras share many qualities, many which I, I don't want to go into right now. <laughs> But yes, we'll, we'll, we will see if that Pokemon Center is still there. But in the meantime, we've just defeated that kid's uh, Firo and Mom's calling us. Hey Mom, how are you doing? She's been buying us dolls. Yeah, okay. Wait, what did she say the doll was? Oh yeah, my doll will be at my, my doll, I think my doll will be at home. So I was going to check my PC to show you the doll, but I'm not going to. Yeah, you can get dolls and stuff, and I think you can get them off the mystery gift system, which this game, well, this game can use in conjunction with Pokemon Stadium, which was the N64 uh, Pokemon game, and you can get, like, free stuff using mystery gift, like dolls and whatnot. It was a long time since I did it. Problem was, you had to buy, like, a, a transfer pack to put into your... Nintendo 64 controller, then you had to put your uh, Game Boy cartridge into the transfer pack, and it, it was just a lot of faffing about. I just no need for it whatsoever. <laughs> Although that was a very good game, I like that game. Much better than uh, the the Wii version, Pokemon Battle Revolution. That was a terrible game. Ugh. But anyway, enough about other games. Talk about Pokemon Silver. Jimmy is not happy. He's been blown away, quite literally, by my spoons of justice. Uh, can we dodge you? Ah, oh, random battles. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, a Rattata. Wow. A level 5 Rattata. Double wow. If you remember, you were able to get Jigglypuffs in this patch of grass. Uh, right. Let's see... If the Pokemon Center is still there? No, it's not. Wow. Step right up and take a look. <laughs> you pervert. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I shouldn't have actually taken that battle. I am actually running out of time. Oh, more coughing. Fantastic. There's more coughing here than a smoker's convention. Right, let's get rid of this guy. I am severely running out of time. This is not good news. Come on, Kadabra. Come on, Kadabra. Right. Um, oh, Slugma. Oh, go to hell. Right, I'm going to have to end it there. But next time on uh, Let's Play Pokemon Silver, we're going to go through Mount Moon. All that and more next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver. I know I said it twice. Sue me. <laughs> See you later, guys.